So welcome back to the channel. Uh, yes, still in the garage. We are in the process of getting packed up. Um, so you get a bonus video in the garage. I know I had the last video uh, two weeks ago. Sorry about last week. I was on vacation. Um, but one more video in the garage. I know I said it was the last one, but it is this one too. Modding the daily. Yes, this is my Mark 7 GTI. If you're unaware, new to the channel, or if you're here for the GTI, it might come as a surprise to you because it's been a minute since I've made a video on this car. It really is like one of my favorites. Genuinely, there's been times where um, I've contemplated whether I want to drive this or the Miata. They're two totally different cars, but the fun factor is there for both. I love my Mark 7. If you guys are looking for a daily, and I know a few of you actually have bought Mark 7s that had Miatas before, and there's a ton of people that own both. So if you are looking for a new daily, check out a GTI. You will not regret it. But as I said, we're modding the daily today. I know, crazy, right? You never mod your daily, but I have. A small thing today, um, I was cruising online. I was like, I really want to do something to the Golf. I don't have like a ton of stuff left to do to it, but I was like, I really want to do something to it. And you guys know me and my deletes. So uh, that's what we're doing today. So over here in the shelf of parts that I have not installed yet, we are going to be installing a part. These are the a section, a section, a section, uh, however you want to pronounce it. I, I don't really know, but there's the brand right there. And these are honeycomb reflector deletes. So down here on your GTI, Golf R, whatever, um, you've got these little reflectors on the bottom of the bumper. It's just so, you know, nothing, nothing super important when you back out of a spot and someone doesn't see you or you're parked, um, a car's lights will shine off of it so they can see you. Um, without them, I'm probably going to get crashed into like all the other things that I've deleted have happened afterwards. Um, but these look cooler and they're going to match better because red reflectors are weird. I get it, but this is the solution that I am going with. All right, well, and also I'm hoping you can see me, but we're going to do an unboxing and this is like an actual unboxing where I haven't opened the product already. Oh, super cool. Uh, you can tell how excited I am. I am actually pretty excited because I ordered these and I wanted to do them. They were only like $45. I ordered them from Euro Tuning. Pretty good website to order your parts from for your MQB Euro platforms, things like that. Yeah, these are really nice. I was genuinely surprised because of the price and then they came in this nice box with the foam and everything. And these look like they're really good quality. Um, they are marked right and left. They've got the little clips in the back and they just stick right into your bumper. And I think this is gonna look really cool. There's other little honeycomb bits on the GTI, like the front grills and the rear bumper has honeycomb, I think, but I've covered it up with a diffuser so it doesn't really matter. But these are really nice. Uh, to get these off, we have to stick our arms up inside the bumper and pop out the old reflectors. We'll see how that goes. I'm gonna do my best. Um, I won't be able to really show you from behind the bumper, but I will show you from outside the bumper and then pushing these in. So mini mod, easy to do, I'm hoping, um, but nonetheless should make it look super cool. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the way these are in the bumper is basically how these are installed. They have little clips on them on the back, and supposedly, normally I do a lot of research before I do installs to see if there's anything, but I haven't really looked for this. Did a little research on the product page, but they're just gonna go in like that. They should fit like OEM. So I'm assuming that the OEM one has these clips. So I should be able to reach back there and pinch them. Um, we've got the uh, AeroFab diffuser on here. I feel like I'm about to be in that scene in Jurassic Park where Dr. Sadler um, is dissecting the dinosaur dung. Um, so if I had a glove that went elbow deep, I'd probably be putting it on right now. That is one big pile of shit. I'm about to get elbow deep in a GTI. I think I should be able to get in just fine. There is a spot like right here. Okay, I feel the clips. This might actually be pretty easy. I'm pinching the clip. Where's the other clip? And the last clip course is like behind a piece of metal. Oh my goodness, it's all the way up here. I'm sorry car. Uh, we're both consenting adults, so 
This is acceptable. All right, there we go. That was easy. Cool, and there's not even a big space, so. Uh, yeah, there, there it is, there's the reflector. And as I imagined, some easy little clips here. Um, this is easy to do. Now, we can just take our other one. Here's the comparison, and this is obviously the L for left or driver's side. And all we're gonna do is line it up. And that's it. I think that looks better. I'm excited on that. I like the uh, honeycomb style. It almost makes it look like a grill. Obviously, it's not functional or anything like that, but I like the style of this. So, before and after. I'm cool with that. Let's go do the other side. easy as I would have hoped it to be and now we don't have any red reflectors anymore I think that looks cool I really like the way that looks there is a gloss version I got the matte version of these besides the emblem on the top right here don't really have any gloss things um, the aerofab diffuser is more of a matte brush look so I figured I would go with the matte colored honeycomb vent inserts or reflector inserts. I'm really happy I did. It would look a lot better if the car was clean, but like I said at the beginning, it's a daily. This thing will move on the highway and it is a blast to drive. So super excited about these. I'm really happy with them. Like I said, Euro tuning is where I got them and the brand is this Ascension, Ascension. I don't know how to pronounce it, but good product. I'm about to get a little vloggy here, so sorry, but our house is going up for sale at the end of this week. So today is Saturday. It's going up for sale on Thursday, Friday. We're hoping to have it sold this weekend. So this upcoming weekend, I'm going to try to do something a little different and do like a driving kind of video, little vloggy style, but I need to be out of the house. So we're gonna try that. I'm gonna try not to miss any videos, but during this whole process, you know, something does come first and that is moving and family and all that. So I'm gonna do my best to make videos for you guys. I'm sorry I didn't make one last weekend. I went camping for the first time in like, probably the first time I went camping in like 18 years. Absolute blast, had a great time. It was such a good refresher to have no phone. Didn't worry about Instagram, videos, anything like that. Really, really good. Um, so that's why I didn't have a video last week. I'm sure you guys won't be too mad at me. Anyways, I'm done talking. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are new to the channel, be sure you go down below, hit the subscribe button for more videos on the GTI and the Miata. It's not going anywhere, don't worry. Uh, thanks so much for watching. We're working our way towards 11,000. We're almost there. So like I said, hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna leave. Have a good night, guys. See you later. Good weekend, good day, good night. See you in the next one. Peace.